What if I told you that you're not an INFP? No, you're something more than that. You are a soul, an energy, consciousness in its pure form, and you are experiencing what it's like to be an INFP. Yeah, introversion, intuition, feeling, perceiving, introverted feeling, the dominant Jungian function that dominates your values. Those are all core facets in how you can enter into a state of awakening or a flow state. Today we're going to talk about that and more, so if you're interested in this, click the magical subscribe button and leave a like. Introversion is not what you think it is. You might have thought that introversion is a state of being reserved or shy, but that's not what it is. You might have thought that intuition is purely the act of having ideas, but that's not what it is. You might have thought that feeling is the act of having values or morals, but that's really not what it is. So what is personality type really? Carl Jung, he saw the Jungian functions as ways or movements of energy. Yeah, energy is constantly evolving. We can't define a thing without defining its counterpart. And so you can't understand introversion without understanding extroversion. What do I mean with this? What I mean with this is that introversion is an inside outwards movement of energy. And this is really important to remember. Introversion is not being on the inside. Introversion is being on the inside and then moving and transforming that energy to the outer world. That means you're only engaging in true introversion when you are able to express your feelings and values and thoughts that you have inside. If you hold your energy inside, it dissipates or it makes you feel stuck. Being stuck is not a personality trait. It's not just a mode or a fixed state of being. You're not doomed to being alone as an INFP. No, you're supposed to. Your purpose is to translate and constantly convert your values and ideas to the outer world. INFPs are people that have ideas, certainly they do, but INFPs and intuition is more than the act of just having ideas. Ideas want to be manifested in the real physical world. Uh, intuition is a moving process, an evolving process. Intuition is an energy that wants to move and evolve. It does not want to just remain on an intellectual level. Intuition wants to be translated, it wants to be put to practice, it wants to be applied. Intuition that is not applied is failed, is left alone, is abandoned. Ideas come to us and they come to us because they think we are worthy, because they think you are the right person to manifest these ideas. They come from the collective unconscious, from all your past experiences, all the people you met and your history. You have and you are the person that is supposed to manifest these ideas and so you have to learn to convert and translate that energy to the outer world. Feeling is not just the act of having values. Feeling is a process of taking what you value and finding smart ways, intelligent ways to manifest those values. That means learning to take action based on what you feel. You can't just feel a certain way about something. You can't just hold your feelings inside. You're gonna burst or you're just gonna feel broken. Feelings, values want to attach themselves to things. Emotions are sticky things. They attach themselves to anything you do. So if you are and feel a certain way, you have a responsibility to do something with that. Not always do what it tells you to, but to do something with it. Either you have to move with it or you have to rebel against it. You have two basic choices here. You can choose to integrate energy or disintegrate it. Perceiving is not just being messy or disorganized. It's being able to look at things that are happening in the moment and learning how to translate them into routines, into habits and into permanent action and permanent things. So 
your goal is not just to be an INFP. Your goal is not just to sit at home or to philosophize or to have values or to sit and be messy. <laughs> it's your goal is to learn how to do these things and to execute these things. You have an ESTJ shadow and energy, true energy is only felt when you are prepared to face that energy. Yeah, you have to surrender yourself to a degree of stress and challenge. It is challenging, it is difficult to manifest energy, but it's important. We can only experience success, achievement, happiness, joy, when we are able to create a world that is more attuned to our values. So you have to attune to the outer world. You have to learn how to step into and manage the outer world and your surroundings. You have to learn to focus on your relationships to the outer world. You are not just what's happening in here, but you are also everything that's happening outside of you. Your consciousness, everything you see, all the conversations you have and remember having, all of those things are a part of your conscious experience. What's happening on the outside is not just an objective manifestation of reality. It is full of synchronicities, full of connections, full of all these projections and full of all these like personal manifestations of things that you find important. Your feelings are as much here as they are out there. Your actions and everything that's happening to you is just as much here as they is in the outer world and in the people you talk to. So you have to understand your relationship to the outer world. You have to stop being an island. You have to join and become part of a bigger universe. INFP awakening happens when you stop identifying with the core of your ego. You are no longer just an INFP. You are all cognitive functions. You are all your personality traits. You are both what you do and your shadow. You are both the good things and the good intentions that you have and the darker intentions and the darker urges. So you have to practice seeing yourself fully seeing fully seeing everything you do both the good and the bad you can't just focus on one of these things you can't just hone into or develop a fixation with one of these traits you can't become lost in just the surface of what you do you have to look underneath never take anything for granted never just assume that everything you do is for a simple reason Learn the complexity of your actions and your behavior and your thoughts and your values. Recognize when you are stupid about how you manifest your values and recognize when you are making mistakes. Learn to see yourself without any hate or resentment. You are not either perfect and wonderful or terrible and evil. You are and have both of these things inside of you. You have both good and bad inside of you. You are both moving towards integration and disintegration. You are evolving, changing, and your energy is constantly changing. You can't identify or become too stuck or too attached to your type label. You have to learn to see how you are and manifest all functions. And you have to learn how to engage in and use these processes to your fullest potential. So once again, your personal type is how you enter into a flow state. It is what gives you energy and what takes energy from you. It is understanding boundaries. It is understanding and surrendering to the outer world. It is understanding how the world and the functions that are outside of you affect you. It is understanding how your relationships and your connections affect you. And it is learning to connect and attune to all these processes. Find out what your personality type is and find out how to enter into a flow state. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and hope to see you all in the next video.